following breaking news. Uh, we are following a chase right now involving OHP troopers. You can see this high-speed chase uh, down I-44 near the Amarillo Junction. Jim is over ahead. Jim, uh, this has just been going on for the last few minutes. Uh, this guy's booking it. Well, that's right. We are in pursuit of, uh, we'll see, you come out of the trees right there. He went off, looks like uh, somebody went, up, went off the road right there. We're catching up to him. We just passed south. Uh, we're coming up on southwest 82nd, going southbound on I-44 here, where OHB has been in a high speed pursuit of this uh, vehicle for quite some time here. They've reached uh, speeds over 100 miles an hour here. We come up on it here. You can see he's on the shoulder right now. Now, we had uh, reports that it was a Tahoe, but that doesn't look to be a, a Tahoe. Like I said, they're running really fast here. We are just now passing Southwest 89th, southbound on I-44. We should catch up with them here shortly and get you a better picture of what's going on. Right now, I don't have any information of why are they pursuing this car at the time, but like I said, OHP is in pursuit of that white car you see right there going southbound on 44, I-44, which basically would be west I-44. Uh, just past, uh, we're just past Southwest 104th Street now, the helicopter has. They're still way up in front of us right now running on the shoulder very dangerous right now but the uh, ohp you can see the ohp suv behind that white vehicle being pursued now there you can see southwest 134th in your picture he just passed that still on the shoulder southbound on i-44 here as soon as we get the caught up here i want to go back to uh, will rogers tower here to clear because we'll be crossing the extended center line or the runway here a minute as 44 kind of bends over to the west so i have to get in touch with them back to you Hey, Jim, thank you so much. And just to, just to put this into perspective, Jim is in the fastest chopper in this market, and he's having trouble keeping up with this high-speed per pursuit involving OHP and that white vehicle. We're told it's a Mercedes of some sort, but we still have no idea why they're chasing it. No, and uh, it looks like he is increasing and uh, at mm. Southwest 149th, and look at this. I mean, we're getting ready to enter the drive time home. This is a major thoroughfare, I-44. It looks like he's headed, you know, into the Tri-Cities area. If you were getting ready to kind of uh, move into the H.E. Bailey Turnpike going into Lawton, it looks like that he's coming up on the big bridge there on the south side of Oklahoma City. And now the lanes are opening up just a little bit. Earlier, as we were watching, as this pursuit just started, it looked like one car might have been run off the road. But here's the bridge on the south side of the metro. And uh, it looks like the highway patrol car... Car. Oh, he blew a tire out. The trooper car blew a tire out. That is not good news. Let's see if he... Right, the OHP SUV just lost a tire. Now, we are, yeah. right now, we're about a mile behind this car. Hang on, just one... All right, Jim, I know you're talking to the air traffic controller because of the Will Rogers airport traffic, but uh, the shot is still on this uh, guy. Will Rogers airspace, so we can... Uh, That's right. Oh, and he just now. exited whoa, off. Whoa, 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 whoa. We almost whoa. lost it on the off-ramp right there. That's going into the tunnel. Oh! Oh my SUV. goodness. Uh, one, oh, one, two, three. He four. rolled, he rolled. He's rolled four times. Oh, he rolled right there. That's going to be. Uh, oh, goodness. We got two police cars over to the shoulder here. He okay, took we're going to be rolling up on this pretty quick. Oh, goodness. He, he took, took that, that pretty quick here, so very, we'll find out very high speed. Exactly what happened here. He was traveling but at a uh, high rate of speed and took that 108 exit. Went around pretty hard which goes into that Tri-City area. Just hang with us. Our signal is going to be coming back mm -hmm. as we follow this breaking news. Just stay and with him, Ben. Just stay with him. Oh, he got he out. He got out and he's running now. Goodness. The suspect is running. He's crossing the... Where is oh, that? Got people standing out behind her house. This is not good. This is not good. Oh, goodness. Okay, he's running oh, behind the, the business. There right we got there. an OHP uh, SUV. He's closing in on him. It appears to be a, a woman. It God, appears to be a woman that's running. Oh, here, goodness. she's trying to... The trooper's oh, going to apprehend her right here. All right. Right they, behind the fence here. They got her. Oh, that's good. I don't know if this person's um, armed or what uh, what she had or whatever, but uh, right now we are uh, we are sitting right here. It's going to be uh, basically uh, it's going to be uh, north uh, northwest 32nd Street or yeah north north east 34th Street around in that area. This off ramp looked like going towards Tuttle. Right. They, mm -hmm. it looked Here's like where they exit. lost it as they come off that off ramp and rolled the car. There's Man. somebody else. Is there somebody else in the car there, Ben? It was amazing. That person in, it looks like there may be somebody else in the car here, but I'm not sure. And okay. so that for that suspect to take off left. running going after flipping right four times, is yes. that how many times we yes. counted? Yes, and look, someone else in the car as well. It looks like another, it looks like a woman as we, uh, goodness, uh, continue watching the breaking news. This high-speed chase started as we were uh, just a few minutes into our 4 o'clock news, and Jim got up on the signal about 425, and we followed this all on the south side of Oklahoma City. And the driver took that exit 108 going into the Tri-City area at a high rate of speed. 
and that car flipped about four times. It looked like the driver is the one that bailed out. Police have, it does look like that is a woman. Uh, yep, they've got her, and it looks like another woman might have been in the car with her. No word why police were ch chasing them in that car. OHP ch trooper's okay, car Robin, had a... Right now, right now we're trying to designate if that really was a woman in the car with this, uh, with this uh, African-American woman or if she is a bystander that walked sure. over to the car. Right now she's on a phone walking around that car. Like okay. I said, we didn't, I didn't see her get out. I just saw her standing there, so gotcha. we want to... I don't want to make assumptions I here, but I don't know if she was really in the car or she was just a bystander that went over to help. Which, that which girl is absolutely a possibility, here, Jim. We'll, with we'll find out here as we get all this cleared up. Like, this is going to be Highway 37. Your southbound I, this chase went southbound I 44 on the shoulder of the road. When we got caught up with them, mm. they're pretty much on the shoulder of the road doing well over 100 miles an mm. hour mm. going on the shoulder, southbound I 44. They exited here at Highway 37 where the car rolled. And like I said, you, Robin, and, and you guys counted it. I didn't see how many times. I really wasn't watching them, but uh, yeah. rolled the car several times where the woman exited the car, run back northbound, crossing the off-ramp to Highway 37 here. And uh, luckily, the OHP got her caught at a fence line back behind a business here because there were some people standing out behind her house watching this watching unfold. It. And I didn't know if that person may have been armed or what, so it kept those people from being in harm's way here if that girl had jumped the fence. Like I said, we don't know why she was being chased, but... It was a very dangerous chase, very high rate of speeds. And, uh, of course, you saw live on TV the one uh, OHP cruiser lost his wheel yes. uh, tire on the back side of his SUV there. So, again, it, it just uh, luckily, hopefully, it looks like it ended here with nobody getting seriously hurt. Which well. is amazing considering it was 4.30 probably when we picked up yeah. this chase. And the going into time. the drive time, all the traffic, mm -hmm. uh, driving at over 100 miles per hour at some points, and then taking that turn. At just about a hundred, maybe, maybe it looked a like little uh, less, the driver made a last-minute decision mm -hmm. to take that exit because it looked like they might continue on southbound, but then at the last minute got on that exit ramp 108, going into the Tri Cities area, and that's when uh, that was uh, a, a bad move. But the good thing is, at this point, it looks like mm -hmm. you know no other drivers on the roadway were injured. We know one car might have been pushed off the road. But at this point, it looks like everyone is still alive, including the driver there, lucky to be alive after rolling that car. And you saw it live on the air. We actually want to bring you that video once again. Watch. Oh, goodness. One, two, three. It's about four turns, complete turns, taking that exit ramp. And you can see there's cars yeah. literally driving by as this is happening. A lot of them pull over, and that's why we're trying to figure out and was that person that was left at the car a bystander who came over to help, or was that person in the car with the suspect who took off running? Wow. Uh, so uh, here it is one more time. Um, they were booking it, and it did not end well, that's for sure. Amazing. They're lucky they're still alive. Um, and, and, and took off running, yeah. too, after a crash like that. Yeah, here it is, uh, that suspect taking off running northbound, and... Uh, Boy, we've had some great law enforcement uh, working very quickly, and you'll see that uh, police car coming in right behind, and basically, uh, they're trapped. And officers uh, have arrested this woman, Oof. and... She took a tumble right there, too. That was a yeah. pretty bad one. Mm. Goodness. And probably would have had to crawl over the fence at that point, so... All right. It's amazing no one was hurt. I mean, she's probably hurting after that crash. I mean, I can't imagine how you're not. Well, but as it went back to the car, the uh, airbags, you could see, deployed. were deployed Absolutely. in the front and the back. And again, there is the suspect that was on a high-speed chase. We had, had word it started out near Yukon on the Kilpatrick mm -hmm. and then looked like it came down south on I-44. And boy, you know, 4.30 in the afternoon, we're in that drive time home. Just a, a miracle that everyone is going to be A-OK -okay yeah. after, after that one. At one point, uh, it looked like, and we haven't confirmed, but just from our video getting right on the scene, it looked like maybe another driver was pushed off the road or veered off the road on purpose, mm -hmm. seeing this in your rear view mirror coming at you 100 miles per hour. Yeah, that would not be, uh, that would be very frightening to be on the road as this was going on. Oklahoma City Police and the Highway Patrol doing a very good job. And as you're uh, looking live, so a little commotion there on the southbound I-44, basically it's westbound, but it's if you're headed south, at, right at that Tri-City area, a lot of law enforcement, some commotion if you're exiting off. So if you have a loved one coming home southbound off uh, 44, you might want to call them and just say, hey, everything is okay, but there is some commotion after this high-speed chase on the south side of Oklahoma City. If we still have Jim, we'd kind of like to check in with him as far as traffic. It was already kind of highly populated on the road there, and now with this crash, all the commotion. Jim, what does it look like around this crash scene? 
Yeah, Roger that. Uh, you, you'd see the you'd see the traffic coming off the off ramp there, going on to Highway 37. It is starting to get uh, busier here. I haven't really looked behind me to see what traffic's doing behind me, but the access road, which is just off the off ramp there to the right, you can see them backed up right now because they have that road blocked off that access road. So you are getting traffic, quite a bit of traffic. I'm gonna move out a little bit here. I got Air One uh, moving around me here that's came in, so. Let me move over just a little bit here and we'll be able to get a shot of the traffic that's on that service road that is to a dead stop there because they have that uh, service road blocked off. That's where the suspect uh, run across and uh, they caught it right behind that business there. But you can see cars starting to stack up there. You can see the off ramp there uh, to highway from southbound I-44 to highway 37 is starting to get a little bit congested here due to all this commotion. And of course the car uh, laying over there on the, on the left hand side of that off ramp so everybody's uh, slowing down to take a look at it. But uh, right now, the only good thing I'd say out of this is uh, there's no injuries. No injuries, that's just amazing. Reaching speeds well over 100 miles an hour coming down. I-44 on the shoulder. We lost two H OHP cars. One OHP car run off the road. We really need to go back and check to see if he's really all right. And then you saw the second uh, OHP car, which was an SUV, actually lose a tire on the rear of his SUV there, and he had to drop out. So uh, just amazing here that nobody was seriously injured. Jim Gardner reporting live from Bob Mills, Scott News 9, back to you. Jim Gardner doing a fine job following that chase for us live right here on News 9. Again, just uh, southbound there on 44, right near the Tuttle area. A little slow going due to the events that have unfolded, but we'll continue to keep you up to date. Keep it here on News 9.